Byron Mims, 29 years old, owner of One Stop Possession here in Terrell, Texas. My <laughs> god brother, who you will also see um, in, as part of the documentary, recently opened us a uh, clothing store here in uh, Terrell, Texas. It's called One Stop Shop Accessories. And he wanted to put something back into the community and we decided to partner and give something back to the community. So today you'll see um, tons of kids. So we want to do something for kids like cotton candy, um, free food for the community, free toys for the kids, clothes, um, gift pack just for adults. We're also doing a raffle drawing where we're giving away. You know what do you, what's, what's, how do you feel about overall today, like the first annual holiday event, do you feel like success? Yeah, I really do. It was a blessing to just be a part of it. Some, you know, a wonderful feeling. Yeah. But even just, you know what I'm saying, to be able to do something like this and give back. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you take from this thing? Like, from this day going forward, like, what do you take from this whole thing? It's something I don't want to stop, you know. I just want to be able to keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? Being in a position I am, just getting back, you know what I'm saying? I know there's people out there that's fortunate me, so, you know what I'm saying? If I can, whatever I can get back, I'm going to do my best to get it back. Always trying to stay in the fast lane. Doing what you can to run away from the war on the inside. Shot by yesterday, so up, and now your heart is just a home for the pain. My body never take anything for granted, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If, if you able to do it, do it. You know, it's, it's people out there less fortunate than us who ain't got as much as us, so be thankful for what you got and just serve it. Be open hearted about everything you have. That's my, my take on everything. Take from just, you know what I'm saying? Even though people done done wrong life or whatever, don't hold that against them. You know what I'm saying? Look at the person that be kind. Look at the person they are today and hold, judge them by that instead of judging them by their past. That's what I would. Okay, can I can I encourage Byron? I, I don't know. I just want to. Byron, I just want to encourage you because I'm gonna tell you this. With us. Um, doing this is you don't understand how you don't open up a big door. I mean, a big door. Prime example. Um, we could have did like a lot of people that we asked and say, Nah, we ain't gonna do this. I'm glad you just kept going. I ain't y'all. I thank y'all. I'm glad we just stepped out and kept going because y'all don't understand how big of a door this is gonna open. But I want to encourage everybody here. Y'all are like people gonna be watching y'all from this day on. I remember them gave out some bags at the next home. I remember y'all fed the people in the community. Hey, y'all keep y'all heads up, keep going, and whenever there's an opportunity, if there's anything that we can do, just call me. Hey, we got you. We're going to walk with y'all. We're going to run with y'all from this day on. Whatever it is, let us know. But y'all don't understand how big of a door y'all have opened. We started real small, but I'm telling you, when, I, when Angel called me to the meeting, I was like, hey, we've been looking for somebody. We've been looking for somebody to help. I mean, we already started on next year, like yesterday. We ready. So, Byron, just keep your head up, stay positive. Hey, the light is on you. Thanks everybody for helping today.
I think once I have my son, yeah. Once once my son was born, it's I tell myself <clears throat> even to this day, if I had a child, I'm gonna make sure I'm there for my child, and I don't want my child going without or going through the things that I want, went through. Yeah. So it, this that's my motivation, just to be there for him and teach him the right way to go instead of going the wrong way. Yeah. And like I said, it's, it, that's what it is for me, it's my son. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's good. So what's next for you? Like, what, what are your goals? Like, what do you want to... Oh, man. Hopefully, hopefully, like I said, I just want to see, see myself improving every every chance I get. You know what I'm saying? Just moving forward and when I, we're having, without having to look backwards. I just want to move forward and just be able to leave my son something that's positive where he don't have to go through the things I went through. Yeah. So like I say, if I can, I know it ain't gonna change overnight or everything ain't just gonna happen like that, but I just gotta keep trying and keep moving forward and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm standing.